Now, a 15-year-old from Brent's been named the winner of this year's Jack Petchy's Speak Out Challenge. Max and Brown beat 19,000 students from schools across the southeast with a speech all about Brexit. I'm very pleased to say Max joins me now, along with Charles Emeka from the Speakers Trust, which runs the competition. Very good to have you both with us. And before we chat, let's just take a little uh, look at you in action. She's ruled strongly and stably for quite a long time. And you know what you're getting with Theresa May. When she promised us we're not getting a general election, when she says we already have a Tory majority, there's a mandate for Brexit, we don't need a general election, you know there's going to be a general election. <laughs> Which, again, was amazing because Tories down 13 and Jeremy Corbyn and Labour Party up 30. And huge congratulations. Thank you. When I was 15, I don't think I could have even possibly stood on a stage, let alone spoke uh, with such passion. Was it a challenge for you? Well, I've always loved performing and public speaking. I mean, I never thought I was any good at it, but I've done I me mean, doing school plays, but um, the training has really helped, and going up through the different levels of the competition has helped build my confidence a lot. And how about the topic you chose? Was that something that you decided yourself when you asked to talk about Brexit? Yeah, I, I'm really passionate about politics. I mean, I'm a strong Remainer, I'm a member of the Labour Party. I'm not happy with the way the country's going right now, and I want to make a change. So how much of this was your personal bugbear as opposed to wanting to get on stage and win this competition? <laughs> uh, well, I wanted to win the competition, and I thought, the thing I, because they say, speak about something that you feel passionate about, and that is what I feel passionate about, so I thought I'd combine the two and do the as best as I can. Well, you clearly did a very good job. Charles, when I was 15, there's no chance that I could have ever got up and done something like that. Why is it important to train young people to be able to do this? If they don't start to do it now, then when it's time to go into the workplace and do other things with their career, then they're already struggling before they get started. But the earlier we get them in that process, build on their confidence, courage, and their communication skills, it, it has a massive psychological difference if you are comfortable communicating to small groups or to large groups. It sounded like Maxim was already a pretty good public speaker, but how much training does go into this? We go into every single school across London and Essex. We deliver a day, about six hours. And then we, before we leave at the end of the day, we have a competition. We narrow it down to four to six students. They then have a speak-out assembly in their school, and then they come up with the final two. That final two go on to represent their school at the borough regional level. We have 37 boroughs and regions, and then at the borough final, one person is selected to represent the borough. They go into a semi-final, which is done via a video panel of trainers, and then we select 15 that go on how, to the grand final. Uh, how tough was the competition this year? It's always tough. 37 speakers, 60, sometimes a school decides to train an entire year group and then narrowing it down. It's always hard for the judges. But With, um, with young people like Max, are we looking at the future of acting talent, of political talent, or is this across a whole range of different careers and aspirations? I think acting talent, political talent, but of course, any. we're, come, we're now in a time whereby which any career you choose to go into, being a good and competent communicator is going to give you an advantage, whatever it is that you choose to do. So, Maxim, what did you win? Um, so, I've won £2,000 in a trust fund. Uh, my school also wins £3,000, and of course, there's going, and I know that the finalists are going on a trip to Cambridge University in October, and there's just going to, I think there's quite a few perks that are going to be coming up over the next year, and I'm really looking forward to it all. Well, congratulations. Thank and you. I know you're only 15, so it might feel a little bit premature to ask, what do you want to be when you grow up? But is there a sense that you want to use this to, to do something in later life? Yes, well, um, since, uh, for as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to be a politician and change the country, and I st still want to do that, and I want to do as best, best, best as I can using the advantage I've gained from this.